love what you do, love all you can, waiting for you, do what you love, there's no other way, and don't be afraid, just take every day, do what you love. I think that encapsulates my entire message. I think if everybody does what they love to do every day, that they're gonna have a lot more fun. <laughs> and look, we've got so many bills to pay and debts to weigh us down for the rest of our lives. Well, why not pay them doing the things we love, right? I think that's the motto. I think you get that pretty strong after you get a cancer diagnosis and then you go through the whole process and you recover and you come out of it and you're like, hey, I, I just wanna do what I love to do because life is very, very fragile. I mean, one day you're in control and suddenly you're not which is another song from a collection of songs that I've written about surviving cancer. That's kind of what hit me halfway through my cancer experience was, I'm gonna get through this and being a composer, I'm gonna write songs about this and then I'm gonna travel all over the world and sing songs about hope and survival with people going through the ultimate challenges. And that's kind of turned out to be what I love to do. So I do what I love, and I love what I do, and I, along the way, make a difference in people's lives. So welcome to my musical hope campaign. The mission? Anybody listening? To make cancer survival popular. That's it. That's what we're doing. Musical hope campaign is a journey across America and the world bringing songs to hospitals, clinics, community centers, wellness communities, spiritual centers, schools, share, open up the conversation about cancer. Shh, cancer, don't say that word. Take the edge off of it. Let's talk about cancer. Let's get it out in the open. Let families share. The more we're out in the open, the less we're afraid of it. So with music, all of a sudden it becomes more accessible, more open. It's like just a great excuse to get those lyrics in there somehow because you're, you're playing these pop songs and people are like it. And then you realize, hey, he's singing about chemotherapy, you know? And to take the edge off of it means you're gonna have a better experience in the treatment. You're going to bring more people around you who are not as afraid as you are because they see you freaked out, so they're freaked out. If you're a little less freaked out, they're a little less freaked out, and guess what? Then you can hug each other more, and you can empathize with each other, and it makes the whole process a little easier. So music tends to have a way of releasing, and in the release, there's healing. And I'm not necessarily saying healing, there's the cure, you know, there's no cure for humanity. <laughs> we are what we are, it is what it is. And yes, we will search for different types of cures, but I'm talking about more in, this, in a spiritual sense. The cure is sharing, being open, hugging each other more and loving each other more. That's the cure and then whatever comes along whatever that um, obstacle is in your life it opens up an idea that maybe there's something positive here maybe there's a possibility here but to get to that we have to be able to kind of let go of all the other first reflections and reactions to a certain situation of course when you get a cancer diagnosis I got mine there's the why me, why me, oh my God, why is this happening to me? And then you're like, and I was like, why not me? Who should get this? My pregnant wife, my wife was pregnant at the time. My two year old child, my father, my mother, my sister, my brother, my best friends, who should get this? Okay, you gave it to the right guy, at least, you know, I can take that, I'll deal with that, at least everybody's okay, you know, I've always been a caregiver kind of guy, so okay, I'll tag I'm it, you know? And um, somewhere along the line, I'd say within the first three months, I came upon a very powerful book called Getting Well Again by the late o o Carl Simonton. And it really gave me the idea that I can kind of 
okay, I have this negative thought of everything and I'm very down on it and everything. But that, I realized, and according to this book, that that's a choice. You can choose to feel that way. Yes, it comes naturally to most of us to feel that way, especially when you got cancer. But once you kind of go like, wait a minute, that's a choice to think that way. What's the opposite of that thought? Well, it's that one. And all of a sudden, I relax because that one is hope, life, appreciation, opportunity, possibility. That's all the opposites of, oh my God, I'm going to die. What is my wife going to do? And, uh, and all these things. Sure, again, we have to go through those feelings. You can't suppress that. But once you you're kind of run that like a million times in your head and you feel so terrible, you're like, then finally go over here. Do as much of that kind of focus over here. All of a sudden you're kind of like, feel a lot better. And you start to kind of learn more about what's going on and that kind of takes the edge off of it. Knowledge is really good. And you realize that there's some possibilities out there things that you would have never even thought of if you hadn't even gotten the cancer diagnosis. And for me, it was to write a pop album about surviving cancer, songs that take you through the experience, and go out and find this funky, cool love guitar, <laughs> and start singing these songs for people. And it's just like this it's a release for me, and everybody starts to feel like they're supported and understood through these songs and it becomes my life's mission and what happened to me and this cancer diagnosis now has defined my entire life's work and I'm able to do things that I've never thought possible for God's sakes I just sang for 5,000 oncology nurses at the coolest convention you can ever think of I mean oncology nursing convention well, first of all, it's 98% women. Okay, my wife doesn't like that. But the love, the appreciation for each other, the work they do to help humanity, it's like, what an audience. Who would have ever thought? I mean, yeah, I played for like a thousand people a long time ago at a big music event in, in Denmark, you know. I played two songs and it was great and it was fun, but most people were drunk. Hey, school, you know. <laughs> it wasn't really about like what I was saying. It was like, you know, just like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, okay, it was great. This, this was a message. It was a, everybody was right there, you know. And my God, that would never have been possible if I didn't get cancer. I'll never forget when I used to do room to room years ago, this was way before a cancer diagnosis, I actually went to the, to the cancer centers, I played songs going room to room. And I remember I walked into this room and this man was, he was pretty close to, to the end of his journey on the planet, at least in the form that he was in. I believe in a recycled energy thing. And I finished this song and he looked me in the eye and he said, you know, I'm a very lucky man. I said, yes. Like, I wasn't sure where he was getting at because he was almost at the point of leaving the planet. And he said, if I wouldn't have gotten cancer and been in this position, I would have never had an artist like you come into my room and sing a song for me. That's, that's stayed with me ever since. I think it's 10 years now. That's the kind of power connection that people going through this can have and that people not going through this can have. It's a choice to take a moment and just look out the window and go, wow, this is, this life is cool. This is really something else. This is great. I'm alive. And there's people in my world that love me and I love them. And whatever I do in between the love is what I do in between the love. But it's about the love. And that's what my mission's about. 
made me nuclear, my collection of songs about surviving cancer and my musical hope campaign coming to a town near you in 2011 and 2012. Come to, uh, come to Facebook, look for Charlie Lustman on Facebook and would you like me please? <laughs> you know that button? Like, click, like me. Be my friend. <laughs> I love that. Would you be my friend? You have a friend request. They would like to be your friend. Really? Okay, I like friends, sir. Come on in, you know. Come to come to Facebook and let us let me know who you are and join the campaign. And we're going to bring a message of hope to the planet Earth. So we'll see you there. How do I thank you for all that you've given to me? by me in my time of need just a simple 